All right, everybody, this is gonna be sort of a how-to guide on how to help you put on a 200 series Safari snorkel on your uh, Toyota Tundra. I believe this should work for 07 to 13 with the stock air box. Not sure how it would work with the TRD air box. Um, I don't have the air box mod. I just have the stock air box, stock engine. Nothing else different to this. All right, so cutting over from the motor, we got the uh, supply bag that comes with the 200 series uh, Land Cruiser snorkel kit from Safari. Uh, this is going to be SS87HF. Um, you know, it says it's for these type of motors, uh, for the 4.7 V8. Don't worry about that. Uh, people have installed this before and it works. It comes with a template so you can kind of line it up with your fender. The uh, long snorkel tube and then the snorkel tip. Um, this is what makes it work uh, with the whole kit. Um, Brian at Jowett Performance sent this over from, uh, to me. I guess this is the one that he had on his truck. Um, and he said that this is the adapter that you would have to make to make that snorkel fit onto this truck. Um, so just looking at this piece, it looks like it's a four inch pipe. Um, there is a piece of aluminum pipe inside. It's a couple inches long. I'll be taking measurements of all of this and uh, sending it over to you guys. But it really looks like it's just uh, two piece of uh, rubber uh, connectors at a 45 degree angle. This one looks like it hasn't been cut. This one has been cut. Um, and it looks like it's two of them. And then you have these long ass uh, rings that go over them so you can tighten them down onto the air box and onto the uh, snorkel tube. Right, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do for the truck is unfortunately you're gonna have to lose this logo. You're gonna have to take off your antenna. And I believe you might have to take this off. I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna check that out. But for sure, you gotta go into your wheel well and you gotta take off all these clips all along the real wheel well. Um, so you can get to the air intake that's gonna be right here. If you look, there's where the control arm is, so it's it's not that far away. It's only about a hand distance away. That's where it's gonna be, especially up here on the inside. Here it is, following it straight down. So yeah, it's not gonna be too far away. All right. So removing these fender fucking clips. These things. Focus camera. These things, come on camera, have these little tabs on the sides. If you look at their profile, they have this little wing shape to them. You're supposed to put pressure on this side and pressure on the other side to unclip these. You're going to have to stick a screwdriver in there. And when you stick the screwdriver in, you got to go in and twist to put pressure on those pins. Uh, once you get one side off, go around the other side of the pin and twist going the opposite way and these pins will come right out. This fender has a uh, fender liner has a shitload of them. So you're going to be taking off a lot of those clips. You're going to hate them. So this is the scary part. This thing has these uh, ridges on the back of the video or I'm sorry, on the back of the snorkel and it, it has this nice curve here. Okay, and you have these holes that line up with the uh, stencil that's supposed to you're supposed to use right well the problem is that since this isn't a Land Cruiser it's a Toyota uh, Tundra um, it, the stencil is not gonna work out uh, so just by looking at the hole that's on the bottom for the air box and where I would need to put the hole what I did is I grabbed the uh, snorkel I held it against the uh, truck to where I think it's gonna line up perfectly and uh, I don't know if you could tell in the video, I'll try to see if I can show it here, but there is a line, there's a nice straight line going down all the way across the doors that lines up with the handles. What I did is I lined up the hole, so the hole is right on the very lip. The top of the hole is going to be right on the very lip of that curve there, that edge. And so I just marked the top of it, I grabbed, uh, where are you at, tape? I grabbed my tape roll and I lined it up and that's where I'm gonna be making that hole don't worry about these lines I'm talking about that I'm gonna be starting off the hole there and then uh, just adjusting the hole as needed to uh, fit the snorkel intake into um, now it's okay if you mess up a little bit because you have a couple inches of, of uh, margin of error down here um, I guess on the bottom is where you need to be careful the most but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the hole to the size that I had now 
and just keep opening it up more and more until this thing fits in nice and snug and then from there I'm gonna uh, turn the snorkel to where I think it's gonna line up right I'm gonna put the studs in that go that bolted in and then I'm gonna dab some uh, nail polish I'm gonna dab some black nail polish since I have a white truck my wife gave me this really nice nail polish I'm gonna dab it on the studs and push it against the fender so it'll mark where those studs are gonna be uh, after I cut the hole it's gonna mark where those studs are gonna be and I'll be able to take them off and then drill the holes into the fender so uh, the next video will show me uh, doing all that okay, so before I start cutting the hole I drilled the center hole um, and then I lined it up but I realized that uh, this is a tool I'm gonna be using to uh, adapt them together right so I had to find a uh, piece of tape uh, tape roll that's the same diameter as uh, this hose so uh, you know they'll both fit nice and snug so what I did is I just I lined it up I traced it and uh, so that's what the hole is gonna be like now I know this is really terrible tracing but I already drilled a hole in there so I'm gonna put in this tool which is a uh, body chop tool it's a pneumatic one I'm gonna stick this in the hole and just start tracing this shape out until I get it all cut out I'm gonna have my wife recording me do that cut you got to deburr the edges so uh, we got the uh, hole drilled out we got it deburred uh, and you can kind of see where the second air hole is come on camera focus for me man it's a piece of shit camera don't ever buy this there it goes. Well, anyways, you see where that air hole is, where it's going to be coming in from. Uh, the other thing you need to do is you need to get some thread locker. Just like that one. You need red Loctite, okay? And uh, the red Loctite, you're going to be applying them to these studs. Uh, make sure you don't get it on the rest of the thread. On the rest of the thread, make sure you only get it on the bottom thread. And you're going to thread them in and let them dry for about 10-15 minutes. Um, and then after that we're going to be mounting it onto the uh, onto the side of the truck here now what I'm gonna have to do since I can't use the template is I'm gonna have to put it in the hole line it up see where I like it and make sure that the gaps aren't that wide and then I'm gonna have to uh, put some ink or something on the tips of these and push it against the fender so we're, that's the only way I can think of doing this uh, without using that stencil is putting the fender on or I'm sorry putting the snorkel on through the hole uh, putting ink on the uh, studs over there and pushing it against the fender so it'll mark where I got to drill the holes for the uh, screws for the bottom of the snorkel um, the one thing that did kind of bum me out uh, after doing this is there was a, a nice little gap about that about that far from this thing to the top of the snorkel um, but I was able to apply a little bit of force and push it uh, so I'll explain that later on in the video um, I'm just twerking this thing just a little bit just so it can uh, fit with that uh, bracket that uh, uh, screws it onto your pillar so I'll be back what I end up figuring out right now is he uh, got this rubber hose here focus there you go he got this rubber hose that fits just right over these bolts and we made them just a little bit longer and we're gonna dab them with a little bit of ink so it's not metal on the actual fender it's gonna be these uh, rubber uh, rubber hose is gonna make contact and leave us a nice little impression of where it's gonna be uh, leaving the holes so what we ended up doing is uh, well when we push this snorkel against the uh, truck the only ones we could reach with the sharpie to trace them 
was this one and the top one and the one there on the edge so what I did is go ahead take the cardboard off for a second what I did is we, we traced them at least just the tops of the holes and then we got the template and placed it over and if you notice uh, this hole down here is lined up so I'll hold it there dad and you line it up with all the other holes there you go so now all of the holes are lined up and this cutout fits just right uh, this is where it's supposed to be cut um, so all the holes are lined up so it should just bolt right onto the fender all right, so we got the holes drilled I mean the good thing about this snorkel probably gonna tighten up the gaps a little more once it's tightened down but uh, on the top there's not too much of a gap what bothers me is how it looks on the bottom uh, just, you know the gap that's on the bottom uh, you can't really tell right now but you know there's a nice quarter inch half inch gap hopefully tightening it up is gonna uh, bring the snorkel a little closer since it's plastic and mold it to the body a little bit but uh, if not I don't care I really don't so snag number two from this whole video is trying to get this uh, ex uh, intake hole from the snorkel Put the snorkel on my chair here trying to get the intake hole from the snorkel to line up with the intake hole from the inside of the uh, air box now the uh, part that uh, my friend sent me it's not exactly lining up but probably because it didn't make the hole the same place where he did so what we're gonna try to do is my dad says he has uh, one of these things nice and flexible and we can pivot them he says he has a longer one um, off of an older car so we're gonna try to see if we can remove one of these from an older car and use it since it's flexible hosing to attach from inside of there to this hole so I can just uh, mount the snorkel right on and have it a watertight seal okay so what I'm gonna start doing now while my dad is uh, is uh, doing his thing and finding me that air piece is uh, they send you this bracket that attaches the uh, snorkel okay into the pillar up here on the top and uh, I think on Land Cruisers they don't have the side current airbag but on our Tundras we do so for sure for sure come over and disconnect the negative terminal before you start fucking anywhere near this airbag on the inside okay so we're gonna have to take this stuff off in here figure out how to remove it all so we can uh, get access in here and drill those holes through the outside through the in into the inside without uh, destroying your airbag and making sure it doesn't go off surprisingly this thing comes off real easy just take these little caps off of your oh shit handle and it's a number 10 on both sides and uh, that loosens up the whole thing pretty well so this is the uh, uh, little pillar cover removed um, I took off the weather shipping from the door just a little bit so I can see what's going on and this is your uh, side curtain airbag try not to mess with that too much you don't want that going off uh, I don't think it can though because there's no power in the truck anyways uh, the uh, snorkel uh its bracket is right around there right around where this little blue switch is at uh but the good thing is it's on the inside of the pillar so i'm going to be drilling from the outside and then you only have to drill in just a little tiny bit just enough for the clips to grab on and uh, the other ones are self-tapping screws uh, and i'm going to be sealing all of this stuff with some uh, uh adhesive and sealant rtv silicone this is to prevent any water from getting into my cab uh, when I start drilling holes into the A-pillar. Uh, the airbox was giving us a lot of issues with this little cone thing on the stock airbox. This was on there and it was uh, hanging out and making the uh, turn very difficult for us to do. So what I did is uh, just to where the tip of the uh, cone starts, I just chopped it off and made it a straight cut and we're just deburring it now so it doesn't catch on anything. Okay, so we ended up finding out why it wasn't fitting. There, this is clipped onto the airbox. Uh, after I shaved the cone off, I figured out that we could take it off. So we took it off, and uh, if you look over here in the uh, bottom of it, uh, you can see that it is going to be able to slide right over this, but I have to shave these pins down so it creates a nice watertight seal. And when we fit it, so it popped out here, it only popped out about a quarter of uh, an inch. So if it grabs on an inch over on the airbox, it should sit flush and we should be able to just push the snorkel right on in.